If your cable's got a plug like this on one end, that's not a problem, but if that plug is on both ends, this thing is an accident waiting to happen. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what makes this so unsafe and help you avoid the most common mistake homeowners make when they wanna connect their generator to their house. Electrical safety is built into many of the things you use every single day, but you probably never noticed. On this regular household extension cord, you've got a mail plug on one end and you've got receptacles on the other. And on this utility extension cord, it's exactly the same. And here's a huge generator extension cord that I just put together on my last video. And this one is capable of putting out 30 amps, but you can see on each end of the cable it's the same. A male plug on one side and a female on the other. Power goes into one end of the cord and that's the male end. And if the female end had prongs, you could get shocked anytime you touch them. And that's just one of the problems with this double-headed cable. If you plug one end into power, the opposite end would be energized and if you touch those prongs, you would get an electric shock. So why do they even bother to sell a cable that shouldn't be used in the first place? Well, the answer can be figured out by looking at your electric panel. Power comes in from your electric company and then it feeds into your circuit breaker panel. But before it can be fed out to your circuits, it has to go through your main breaker. And as everybody knows, if you shut that main breaker off, everything gets disconnected in your house. But electricity has a dirty secret that most people don't know. And that's that it doesn't matter where it comes from, meaning your power can come in from the street or if you had a generator, you could actually feed your panel by putting electricity into one of the outlets in your house. And that's why companies are selling a cable like that because they want to promote people to backfeed their panels. Now you might think backfeeding sounds great, but it's completely illegal and totally unsafe. The reason it's illegal is because electricity doesn't just stop at your circuit breaker panel. If you backfed your system through one of your outlets, it would keep flowing all the way back up to the street. Even your neighbor might be able to use some of the power from your generator. That same electricity from your generator could flow all the way up the line and you've got utility workers working on the power outage. They think the power is off and they could get electrocuted from the power from your generator. So why not just backfeed your panel and turn your main breaker off? Well, that sounds like a good idea, but unfortunately during a power outage or a storm, oftentimes people forget to do something. Or someone else in your house turns that breaker on and they could actually allow electricity into your panel, causing your generator to short out and maybe even have a fire. But fortunately, there are a couple of legal, safe ways to connect your generator to your house that takes all of this worry away. Now, the first one is to use something called an interlock. You'd install an outlet like this off of a special circuit breaker on your panel, and then you'd install this small metal plate. And all this metal plate does is ensure that the generator outlet and your main breaker cannot be on at the same time. So you either get to use your generator outlet or have your main breaker on, but this prevents you doing any sort of backfeeding you might be wondering how safe can this outlet be? It's got those prongs exposed, but if you touch them, you won't get a shock at all because there is no electricity coming from your breaker panel to this outlet. It's going in the opposite direction, coming from your generator to your panel. So it is a kind of legal backfeeding, but it is completely safe. Now, when we look at this RV, it's very similar. It's got the same exposed prongs because if you're camping, you might plug into shore power where you'd be feeding power into this outlet and then into your van. Another great option to feed power into your house during an outage is to use a transfer switch. I just did a video showing how to do a one outlet solution, but you can also get ones that have four, 10, or even more circuits. So this is the reason that all the electric outlets in your house have female receptacles. That's because there's live power behind the outlet, and that's why all electric cords are gonna always have a male and a female plug. They're protecting you from getting a shock from that live power. And if you ever see a cord like the one I showed you with two male ends, you wanna run away because it's definitely not something you wanna use. I was shocked to see a couple of other channels on YouTube recently promoting the idea of illegal backfeeding. This is just plain dumb, it's illegal and totally unsafe. Make the right choice and get yourself ready for a power outage in advance, and don't make a bad choice during a crisis that could cause you big trouble later on. 